Hi guys, it's Emily. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to solve another true length line problem. So in this problem, we want to find the true length of line XY. And we're given line XY in two principal views. We know that we have line XY in the horizontal plane by these subscripts um, denoted with H. So if I draw uh, a folding line, I can name this H and then F because right below the horizontal plane is the frontal plane. I should write out the names of these, Oop. horizontal and frontal. And then we're also given line XY in the profile plane. And we know that from the subscript P. So if I separate also the frontal plane from the profile plane with another folding line, this is F and P for profile. Um, now we can see that even though we're given two views of the same line, we can't create the uh, true length yet. Um, we need two adjacent views of the same line, and we don't necessarily have that here. Um, so we need to complete the frontal view of line XY before we can proceed with drawing our auxiliary view uh, to find our true length. So the easiest way to do that is to just make extension lines into our frontal plane um, from points X and Y in both of our given views. So I'm creating extension lines from points X and Y in my horizontal and my profile plane. And I'm extending those into my frontal plane. And I know it's a little hard to see because I used the color blue. Uh, maybe if I make my line a little darker, we can see we can see that where these lines intersect, where the horizontal and vertical lines intersect, um, is where our point X is going to go in our frontal plane. So we have X, F. And then we can see from our extension lines um, from Y, H, and Y, P, that our Y, F is going to go here. So now I'm just connecting those points and I've completed that line in our frontal view or our front plane. So now, um, now we have more than enough information to construct our true length line and we can make that pretty much anywhere. Um, the rule of thumb is to create your auxiliary view where you have the most room. So in this case, I'm going to create my auxiliary view off of my line in my profile plane because I see that I have a lot of space here. You could also create um, your, your true length line in this space or any space uh, where you have um, another view of your line, but it just matters that um, that space is available. So I'm going to go off of the profile plane. Now the first step to completing or to starting your auxiliary view is drawing your folding line. Um, so we want to draw our uh, what's going to be our P1 folding line. So I'm just drawing a parallel line uh, 
or a line that is parallel to my um, XY line in my profile plane. And I'm placing that a distance away from um, from my uh, line X, XY in my profile plane. And it's good to label your forwarding line. So this is going to be P and 1. And I named it P, P1 because we are still in the profile plane on, on this side. So that's why I named it P. And then 1 just means that we are drawing our first auxiliary view. And so the next step is to draw extension lines that are perpendicular to our P1 drawing or to our P1 auxiliary folding line. And those are going to start off of the points that we've uh, created or, or not the points that we've created, but the points that we have um, X and Y. So the easiest way for me to do that would be to just make a parallel line and then I'm just going to rotate this 90 degrees. And now I have a line that is perpendicular to my auxiliary folding line. Oops. And so now I'm just going to copy this line and place it on point Y. And I'm just going to show that this is perpendicular here and here. Okay, so now the next step is to count two folding lines back. So we made this folding line. So this is one folding line P1 and then uh, our other folding line will be FP, so this would be 2. Um, and note that I'm not jumping all the way to the HF folding line. Uh, that would be three folding lines back. So um, we're primarily working with um, the profile view and the frontal view. Okay, and so, and also it's because it's, we're working with the frontal view, not the horizontal view, because it's the one that is closest to our, um, our profile plane. Okay, and so now what we're going to do is we're going to take the perpendicular distance from our FP folding line to our points that make up line X, Y in our frontal plane. So I'm going to take the horizontal distance. Let's see, this is perpendicular to our folding line. And the perpendicular distance from the folding line, again, to our point X in our frontal plane. So once we have these distances, now, what we need to do is we're just going to take these distances. So I'm going to start with a distance from, oops, from um, point X to our folding line. And I'm just going to move that over and place it on the extension line that we made in our auxiliary view. I'm just going to rotate it slightly. And I'm placing it on our newest folding line. So folding line one in pink. And so this, now we have uh, point X. So I label it X 
and then we're going to take the distance that we drew in red um, for line or sorry for point y and we're going to place that oops i think it's too small oh. I, I can't grab it necessarily so i'm just going to draw a line down here because we know that this distance is just one square in length so i'm just going to take that and place it on my extension line like i did with point x and this goes with point y So now we have Y. And then the last thing to do is to connect these two points. And so now this is the true length. TL for short of line XY. And that is how you solve um, a true length line problem using the auxiliary V method. Thank you for watching.